Welcome to the Wonderfully Made Podcast, and this is your host, Fifi Buchanan. And today I'm going to be talking about the Apple series called Silo. This is not any sort of advertisement, but I love sci fi and I just want to talk about the different themes that come up for me in the show and kind of relate that back to real life. And also, I'm just such an avid reader, and this show is based on a book and very clearly has a very intricate plot. So let's get into it. So the show's premise is pretty simple. It's a dystopian future, and we are set in this setting where the remainder of people on Earth are all living in this gigantic silo, which is underground. And All records that would have told who built this silo have been either destroyed or hidden. So what you hear about is some rebellion that happened over 100 years ago. You don't know who built the silo and who the real founders are. So that's the setting. And a little about me. I always talk about my mechanical engineering degree, but I don't often talk about my degree in English. Most people know if you study English, you have to read a lot of books. I'm an avid reader. I love reading. And what I want to say is that the genre of sci-fi, I feel like sci-fi writers are prophets. They tend to look at the world around us and say, if things continue to go the way they're going now, here is the future that I predict. And if you read science fiction from 20 or 30 years ago, you will see that a lot of their predictions are spot on. And it's scary, but it's also like a reminder to pay attention to the condition of the world. And what you will be able to imagine is an incredible future if things go well, or also a very scary future. So the writer of the book that this show is based off of, his name is Hugh Howey. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And the novel is called Wool. All the actors did such a great job in this show, and I actually just tapped on the show without watching a trailer or anything, so I didn't know who was going to be in it. Uh, Common is in it, and I really enjoy him as a performer, so that was pretty cool. But in any case, without spoiling the show for you, let me tell you that it is so incredible watching, and I really just got connected and attached to all the characters. So here's my first takeaway. My first takeaway is that even when risking death, there are some among us who would rather know the truth more than anything. And I say that because there are often many people that are part of the world who are pretty obedient. They follow the rules. They trust what they're told. They don't question. And they just sort of move about through life the way they are meant to move about. But there are some people among us who question and say, why do we always do the things that we do? Who started this? What was the reason? What is the purpose? And they question when things don't sound right. And even if the risk is losing everything, including their life, they will do it. And it's it's for some people the most terrifying thing in the world to disrupt whatever their idea of truth is. But there are people who don't care. As long as they get answers, That's what matters to them. And that's what I found was truly incredible. And I think the people who are that way are actually the reason that we survive. Because usually the opposite is told, which is if you question too much, more people could be hurt. Another theme that I took away is that we're able to face our biggest fears for the people we love and also for our desire to know the truth. And so Whatever it may be, sometimes people have different phobias, some people deal with anxiety, different mental health issues, some people have physical, mental, emotional limitations, but there is this triumph that is possible when we are risking it all for someone we love. That's the incredible thing about love and connection and community. And it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be a parent to child, child to parent, a friendship, like a really long time friendship. But the biggest risks that we take is typically on behalf of love, but also 
on behalf of wanting to know the truth. And that's what I saw so much of in the show. And there were parts when I was actually like literally on the edge of my seat. And I didn't want anything to happen to the character, but then I also wanted them to get answers. And it was just such a wild position to be in while watching because I could see that analogy for life that sometimes to 